Hi everybody, this is Karen. I have a quick tip for you, something that I discovered in creating a design for someone. So if you wanted to create a compound path with sure cuts a lot, I'm going to show you what you need to do. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a shape. I'm going to use a circle, put it on my mat, make it a little bit larger. Okay, so it's not going to be a perfect circle. It doesn't matter. I'm just showing you how to do this anyway. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to create a shadow layer, drag it out. Oh, whoops. I should increase the size here a little bit. And then I'm going to choose all of this to make sure I have both pieces selected. Then I'm going to right click and merge. So I've now created my compound path. If I wanted to put something in the middle, let's say I wanted to put this heart in the middle and have it attached to the sides. I'm going to make it somewhat bigger and move it over. And I want to make sure it's not going outside the edges of my circles. Oh, let's see, I'm going to bring it over here, drag it to the right a little bit to make it a little bit wider and down a little bit. Okay, so then it's going to attach. So then all I do is I choose everything by dragging a box around it. I come to my path menu and I check union or I choose union. So I've now got a heart inside my circle. So let's say if I wanted to put, oops, I need to deselect that, remove the heart. So let's say I wanted to put some text inside my circle. Need to select the piece, move it over so I can work with it. And I'll go to my fonts. I'm not going to choose anything fancy. Obviously you would choose something nicer than I than what I'm going to grab. I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to type in two numbers. Make them a little bit larger, bring them over here to my circle. And again, select everything, choose path and then union. And that's going to do the same thing. So you could do this with a square, a rectangle, any shape, as long as you use that shadow function make the two outlines, group them together, merge them. That creates your compound path so that you'll be able to attach your pieces. So let's try something else. This is what I was doing for my client yesterday. So I'm going to remove the numbers and I'm going to create one more circle. Uh, let's see. I need to select my piece. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. And of course I'm going to have the exact same thing again, but I don't want that. So I'm going to break this apart so that I only have the one circle. Whoops. I'll delete this one. Actually, what am I going to do? I'm going to keep the larger one, right? So I'm going to make this just slightly larger than what I've got in the middle already. I'm going to leave it the same size. You'll see in a minute what I'm getting to. So I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit and give myself a little bit more room. Bring this up here a little bit. And now I'm going to choose the rhinestone feature. You can use any of these shapes for what I'm about to do, but I'm going to use a circle. And I'm going to go a little bit larger than this, let's say about three millimeters. And I'm going to do a preview. So you see now you've, I've got circles all the way around, but these are very tiny. So I want this to be larger. I'll try this and I'll click preview. I want it still a little bit larger than that. So let's go down to here. That looks better. So I'm going to click OK. That's created my rhinestone pattern for me. I'm going to bring this back over here. I'm going to bring my rhinestones and put it on top. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to center that. It'll make everything much easier. So I'll click this crosshair here, center horizontally and vertically. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and see exactly where that line is. So you see that line is going right through the middle of those rhinestones. So that's good. Zoom back out click my arrow, select everything, and I'm going to go to path, union. Look at that. Now, if my line didn't go right through the middle of the rhinestones, 
it would be a little bit different or if you would use a different shape if you use the, the uh, square that was in the rhinestone feature or the lozenge you could get that looking different so just thought that would be useful and helpful to you thanks so much for watching